and I'm standing in the receiving area of a casualty clearing station. And in fact, there's a, a patient being brought in now. He's just come off the ambulance from the front line. Uh, let's see what's wrong with this one. What have we got this time? Gunshot wound. Left thigh, sir. Right. Carry on. Casualty has been brought into the tent, with this case, which is the receiving tent, just to see what's wrong with him. Uh, the doctor will be able to have a look at him and then assess what needs to be done next. Uh, we're very fortunate he's actually got fastened to him a ca casualty card which says what treatment he's already received and the nature of his injuries. He's been put here on a pair of trestles so the doctor and the nursing sister have access to him at a reasonable height and they can then make the decision what's going to happen next. And uh, I suspect in the case of this casualty, we know he's got a gunshot wound to the left thigh. Probably what's going to happen is anti-tetanus serum, because he's almost certainly going to have a bacteria in that wound, which may mean that he'll get locked jaw. Very, very importantly, what that also means is potentially he's losing a lot of blood. A fractured thigh, very, very bad. Even if it's an open wound of the thigh, he's losing a lot of blood. So we'll see what happens next. So here, drawing up the anti serum. Right, right. Very, very important to prevent the onset of lockjaw, which killed many soldiers early in the war. And the actual serum was made from horse blood. One of the great developments of the war, along with, in this case, things like the use of x-ray here at casualty clearing stations, and also then the Thomas split, which really prevents much worse injuries caused by uh, broken limbs leading to the, the death of soldiers, uh, developed by Dr. Thompson. And here, assessing the patient, he seems to be unconscious and not responding at all. He's shown no sign, not even a flicker of response to the doctor, so rather worrying. Um, so the question now is what's gonna happen next? In the case of a very severe injury, the patient may be assessed and it be deemed necessary to put him in the moribund ward. Basically, he's not going to survive. In this case, limbs being checked, make sure there's no fractures. And although we're clear that we've got loss of blood, it's possible this guy may be stabilised, either simply by putting on a tourniquet for now and hoping that the wound will actually clot, or possibly a blood transfusion. Uh, yeah, and in fact, in this case, decision being taken, what we need to do is put a tourniquet on. This will then stem the flow of blood, potentially then followed by a blood transfusion, which in this case will be a lifesaver. Uh, because by 1917, they're able to store blood and they also know about blood types. All of this really part of the medi medical miracle that is the First World War.